Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC out again enjoying the beauty of the Kingdom of the Moorlands with one of Europe, if not one of the world's most well-respected brands and that is Paramo. Um, <laughs> for re genuinely for good reason, Paramo makes some incredibly hard wearing gear uh, and yeah they, they have they have a huge following and again for good reason but what we're here today to look at is the Fuera I hope I'm saying that right apologies if I pronounced it wrong uh, but the Fuera windproof smock I believe it is Fuera is it Spanish for wind is it Spanish Portuguese apologies if I've got that wrong it's been a while since I did mod modern languages GCSE at school uh, but yes, so I've had this now, when did I get this? This, this is one that I've had for a long time, mainly because I've had a lot of other things that I needed to get to first. Probably about, maybe about four, maybe five months of testing. Now when I say testing, I just mean going out for walks on beautiful days like this. But luckily had the luxury of being able to test this over the winter. Um, so to, uh, to get in straight into it, as far as the materials on this is concerned, so this is made from a polyester microfiber um, that also uses uh, nick wax, and it's Paramo. I should probably should have checked. I don't know if Paramo and nick wax are one and the same company, or whether they've always just had this kind of working relationship that they've they've always kind of worked together. But even so, on the on the arm here, um, it says that it's windproof, and it also says that it, it, it uses the the nick wax on there. So nick wax is a synthetic wax that will impregnate something um, to, well, to, so that water will just brush off it. Now, there's a couple of properties of this micro microfiber tight weave uh, polyester that benefits this. First one being is the wind stopping. So whilst you're out, whilst walking like this, there is actually quite a cool breeze out today, but I'm not feeling that at all. I can actually feel it on my head, um, but I can't, I can't feel it on my body at all because, the, because it, it's so densely packed or so den densely woven together uh, that the wind won't blow through this. However, it is still highly breathable. So I run three or four times a week through the winter, especially when it's cold and there is a cold wind. Um, I will wear a windproof smock like this. Um, another one that I that I use quite a lot is the Tramontane um, from, from Helicon Tech, which is also an excellent windproof smock. Oh, sorry, that's a windproof jacket. This is, this is, a, this is a, uh, just, just a smock. Uh, but yes, very good. Now, as far as thermal properties, it doesn't necessarily have any thermal properties because it, it's not insulated, other than the fact whatever kind of thermal benefit that you might get from maybe half a millimeter of, of polyester on you. Um, however, the indirect thermal advantage that you get with this is because the wind doesn't come through this. I'm just wearing a t-shirt on underneath here. Um, just just a simple cotton t-shirt um, and, and I'm still nice and warm. It's helping me to keep myself warm by keeping the wind wind away from me. Um, also because of the polyester and the nick wax that's impregnated into this, um, it does mean that this is shower proof. And I have tested this out, so I've been out, I've done several walks where there's just been a light shower um, and it's kept me dry. It's kept me dry for two or three hours, absolutely no issues whatsoever. I was out and there was quite a heavy rain one day and yeah, it, it, it did get through it. But it was a heavy rain that I was out for quite some time in uh, and, and eventually it, it did manage to seep through. Um, the, the seams on here, they're not taped seams that you'd get with a waterproof jacket and that's where I found that it, that it kind of started to get in. But with the light rain, I was out for quite some time, had no issues whatsoever. I had this over one of my, um, which one is it? It's the Halicon Tex Wolfhound t-shirt for your underlayer, um, Helicon Tex Wolfhound for my insulation layer. This over the top is, is, is a god tier um, combination. Keeps, kept me warm, kept the wind off me. It was brilliant. 
So that's a little bit kind of around the materials. Um, the materials on here are very light. It's designed to be packable. So taking this off, absolutely super simple. It's a, it is an over the head jobby. Uh, so you have to pull it off. Now this, so this was a suggestion from somebody as far as showing how small things pack up, which I thought was a great suggestion because certainly packs like this really are designed to be stowed away. Uh, so when it's rolled up like that, I probably could get this even tighter um, and you can throw this into the bottom of a bag. These are worth their weight in gold, especially for this time of year where it rains, then it's sunny, then it rains, then it's sunny, then it's windy, then it rains, then it's sunny. April in the UK is a nightmare because you don't know what to wear because the weather changes so much. These are great for that. But it does roll up into a very small bundle. You can actually, although I won't do it now mainly because it just, it doesn't particularly take long. In fact, I've started so I might as well finish. You can roll it up into its kangaroo pocket or its pass-through pocket. So once it is rolled up, it is all self-contained. Now I will say, compared to other um, stowaway little kind of roll-up windproof smocks like this, when it's away like this, it does appear to be a lot bigger than some others. However, it's very thin, and when you put this into a bag, you can even fo you can fold this in half again. You could probably fold it in half again, and it's just a little bit bigger than like a, mon a, a can of Monster. So although its initial fold up is a little bit larger than, than others on first appearances. Once you've squished a little bit of the air out of there, there's, there's certainly, I, I've not struggled to put it in a bag and put it that way. Then when you need it again, you just give it a bit of a tug and it comes out. Now, as far as the grammage of this is concerned, so it's a little bit, <laughs> I say heavier, <laughs> it's still ridiculously light. The Tramontane here, uh, so the polyester on this is a lot finer, and it really is a lot finer. Uh, this will fold a lot smaller compared to this. I say a lot smaller, they're still both very small when they're folded up. The Tramontane is around about 120 grams. This is uh, 290 grams, uh, if my memory is right. But again, when it is on, it's like it's it's like it's like a second skin. It's un, it's unbelievably light, uh, and you know there's 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 no issues with 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 movement whatsoever. Now I'm a large. I generally tend to go for large. I'm five foot nine. I have a 46, 48 inch chest. I'm about 15 and a half stone, which is about. 100 kilos, 220 pounds. Um, I've got a large and it fits me exactly how a large should do. So if you're trying to work out whether what size you should go for, I'd say whatever your normal size is, just pick that. Um, I'm able to wear this, uh, as I mentioned, with the Wolfhound hoodie. I'm able to wear this with an insulation layer underneath it. No issues whatsoever. There is a little bit more room, especially in the arms, so that you can fit an insulation layer underneath because that's what it's designed to do. It's designed to be that layer that you put over the top to protect you from a light rain and especially protect you from the wind. As far as colors are concerned, I think it's available in four. There's like a blue, a red, um, a black, and a green. This is, this is the green version that I have on here. As far as the features, so as you've seen, this is, a, this is an over the head smock. The zip comes down just so, so if you imagine my nipples are here and they meet here on my sternum, that's roughly where the zip comes down. The zip pulls on here, so these are YKK zips and they also have like a little rubbery, little rubbery section on here. Brilliant when you've got gloves on. Now I would say, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of torn. I think you can actually push this out if you wanted to. So if you wanted something that was a little bit longer because you prefer something to, to, to pull up on, 
you've got you've got the option there um, I had used it with gloves now when you use it with gloves once you've got grip of it it, 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 it just pulls it, it's it's fine but with it being a little bit shorter and you've got gloves on because you get less feeling in your fingers and you're trying to find it you, you kind of oh it's there and then so again it's more of an observation rod than a pro or pro or a con uh, when it pulls up, it pulls up right up into the chin and yeah, sorry, I thought it got f further to pull there. Now I will say, so there isn't a beard cover on this. I've just gotten used to beard covers generally tend to be kind of a standard thing. Have I ever got my beard caught in it? No. Does, should it really matter? I guess not. Uh, but if you do find that your beard gets caught in your zip quite a lot, then again, it's just it's just an observation. The hood on this now, the hood is a god tier hood. Somebody came into snuck into Castle Moorlander at night, measured my head, and built a hood that is perfectly designed for my head. Now I have a large bunce; it's massive. It's like a it's like a melon, and this fits me perfectly. There are additional pulls that you can have here, so if you want to tighten this down a little bit closer to the front, you can do. There is, now that pull actually runs along the inside here, so although there is a, there is a brim on this, when you pull this down, it'll actually pull it closer down on the inside of the brim, again, which is brilliant. Uh, whilst I've been out running when I've done some hill runs in this, keeping the wind away from your ears is great. It's also reasonably close to the side of your head, especially if you give these a bit of a curve like that. So, uh, so wind getting in here and you get that kind of thing where it's rattling against your ears, it doesn't do that. Brilliant. There is also a pull on the back here. Uh, so if you want to cinch it down a little bit more at the back, you can do. And there is also on the top, there's an extra one there just to give you, again, just a little bit more adjustability around the head. Now, it, these, it isn't, unfortunately, one that you can wear over um, a helmet. So if you're out and you're climbing or doing anything like that, uh, yeah, you're just going to have to put your lid over the hood if, if you are going to do that. Um, I'm not saying that this is a particularly fragile material but I dare say if you're climbing you're going to want something that's probably just a little bit more robust um, than this. Um, coming down from the zip, uh, so as I mentioned, comes down to about here, you'll find that there is a little Paramo logo there uh, and then rather than having a top-down joey pocket, so when I first saw this I actually assumed that there was there because you have you have this uh, you have this seam across the front there but it doesn't have top access instead what you have is a pass through pocket that comes through here which also doubles up as your uh, stowaway pocket if you want to take this off and kind of fold it within itself um, it's reasonably high as far as where this is situated. Uh, so as I mentioned, that, that, that seam is just kind of on my nipples to, to, to the sternum area here. Tend to find a lot of these are a little bit further down with this one. It's a little bit higher up. Having got this on whilst doing some walks with a rucksack on and having a waist belt on there, it's brilliant because it's not under your waist belt. You're having super easy instant access into this pocket to get whatever it is that you need and not having to worry about that. Coming down to the waist, so you have, if I just undo these, uh, so there are two bungee points, one on, well at least there, there, there is a bungee point on the left, there is a bungee point on the right. If I pull this down, it does seat at the back just that extra little bit further. Uh, so if you're concerned about anything going down behind the back of you whilst you're out climbing around things, it's great because it has that drop to kind of go behind your buttocks. Uh, for me, I cinch this in, not, I mean not, not even a lot. Pull each of them in maybe an inch or two, it just gathers it up a little bit better, kind of curls it around my butt at the back, it's just great. Um, as far as the sleeves are concerned, there's no bicep pockets on this, it's a very lightweight, minimal option. Other than uh, on, on, the, uh, on, the, on the right hand sleeve here, you have that windproof Nick Wax logo, and then coming down onto the cuffs, 
The cuffs are reasonably large. Now, I'm not saying kind of wizard sleeve large, um, but I would say genuinely quite large. I think, again, that comes down to the fact that you can put a mid layer, you can put a, an insulation layer underneath here as well. And also, whilst I've been out and I had been testing it with things like gloves to see how easy the pulls and things are, um, it, it's great because you can, you can make sure that it will go over a glove easily. There's no elastic in these, so instead what you have is uh, you have some hook and loop. Now the hook and loop itself is attached to uh, like a little piece of webbing. So dependent if you want to go all the way around. So I have a seven and a half inch wrist and that is all the way around. Um, yeah, that's not letting anything in. Generally, I just tend to fold it so that the a small amount of the excess is covered on there, similar to the other side, which helps just to just to kind of reduce reduce that rattle. Actually, one thing I f forgot to mention. So uh, as I mentioned on here, so it doesn't. It has a. It has just the YKK zipper pull with a rubber tab on it. Whereas the two zips that are here, so these use smaller zips, but they also have a little bit of a ribbon that's attached to the end of these. These are very easy to get to when you do have your gloves on, um, but because you have uh, like a rain hood or a rain sleeve, yeah, rain hood uh, here over, over over the zipper, uh, when when these when you just kind of walk in and you, you know you do whatever it is that you need to do. Um, <laughs> That's a, that's a perfect example because you didn't do it. Um, but they do naturally just kind of fold into underneath there and they're, they're out of the way. They don't catch on, on uh, they don't catch on anything. They're also not loops as well. So it's it's tied on there and then the two, the two are the, the, the two are separate. So if you get stuff caught on your bags, if you get stuff caught on your gloves, anything like that, um, it doesn't do that because they're not actual loops. They're just it, it's just a ribbon that's um, that's been sewn at the top. This is brilliant. This really is brilliant. Now, for a long time, Helicon Tex have been my go-to, and they still are my go-to because. I run, as I mentioned, three or four times a week, um, especially through the winter, because I sweat a lot, then I, I don't just wear this and take this off. So it, it's great that I've got, I've got my windproof smock from Helicon Tex, I've got my Tramontane from Helicon Tex, and I also have this as well. Now I will say out testing this compared to the Tramontane and the windproof from Helicon Tex, this will endure a lot more rain compared to those. It's definitely more of a versat more uh, of, a, of a versatile outdoors kind of gear, outdoors garment. I think this is where there's a, there's a lot of brand loyalty with Paramo. If if you know Paramo and you're like, well, I didn't even I didn't even need to watch a piece of content. I know that this is going to be a great outdoor garment. Paramo have a huge following and for exceptionally good reasons. Um, they make some of the best outdoor gear that there is. Full, full, full stop. Um, you'll have seen on here uh, a lot when I do other pieces of content with maybe a jacket and I want an insulation layer underneath here. I have one of the Paramo Torres Gilets. I've had that now for about 15 years. Still going strong. Oh, oh actually. Where, where the zip is for the side pocket at the bottom, because I'm a little bit heavy handed, I pulled it down once and, and the, the, it started to come undo, come undone. I took it to my friend who's a seamstress, took her 20 minutes, she stitched it back up. Since then, no issues whatsoever. I've had that for 15 years and it keeps me dry, it keeps me warm. I've tried the, that in combination with this. Torres Gilet underneath this, Fuera, uh, windproof smock over the top. Yeah, it's 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 an it's an absolutely unbeatable combination. Although I, although I did say that the um, that the wolfhound wolfhound hoodie was also an incredibly good combination. The wolfhound hoodie with this was definitely better on the days when it was kind of you know it was it was uh, it was sub zero. Uh, but yes. Yeah, this is, um, it is, it is very nice. And the fact that I've mentioned as well several times, take this off, pack it away, it's in the bottom of your rucksack. You might not need it for six months, but on that day that you do need it, it takes up little to no room 
and little to no weight. It's less, less, than, less than 300 grams, which is probably less weight than your mobile phone uh, is in, in, your, in, your, in your pocket. So yeah, so there you go. This is the Paramo Fuera um, windproof smock. Now what I'll do is I'll leave some links below. So if you want to pick up one of these, uh, you can see where you can pick up uh, one. I will also leave some of my social media links so that you can see more from me here on Moreland EDC and also my sister channel. Moreland the Tactical, but for now, as always, stay safe, stay Moorlander and stay EDC. Genuinely, for good reason, I've had certain, my Paramo Torres Gile, I've had now for about 15 years. And it's, it's still, actually, I had to have one of the pockets restitched. This intro is way too long. way too long I'll leave that to the right I'll, I'll do that bit at the end we've had quite a windy period well, we've had a very rainy period but we've had a very windy period a lot of these trees kind of yeah a lot of the limbs been blown off them it's just littered around on the floor I guess I'll have to clean that up What was that? Hi, I'm... Nope. Doors clothing. Now, I've recently done quite a bit of content on windproof... I just had some iron brew. If you're not from the UK, you'll know, not know what Iron Brew is unless you visited the UK and had some Iron Brew. It's a, it's a, it's a Scottish, well, it, it's, the, it's the most popular drink in Scotland. Um, Scotland is one of the countries where uh, Coca-Cola isn't the most popular drink. Iron Brew is the most popular drink. And because the Scottish people are such hearty, northern kind of, people it's made from steel girders uh, they, they take down old buildings they take the steel girders out of the uh, or out of the buildings put it into a vat of acid because Scottish um, stomachs are just so much stronger from, than the rest of the world uh, over over about 3,000 years it deteriorates into into this into this very orange drink called iron 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 brew um and yeah I'm, I'm part scottish half welsh half scottish so my, my constitution will will luckily um you know I, I can drink iron brew without any ill effects because no mere mortal can drink copious amounts of iron brew without some sort of effect on the body but you know when you've got it you've got it it makes you burp a lot as well. That's a weird one. Have we any burps left? No, I don't think so.